okay guys so here are my batteries to make the the pack samsung 40t and as you know gonna be a 20s 5 parallel with 72 volts and 20 amp hours i'll check the voltage on every on everyone to see that they are all equal and then start the assembly so i'm checking the voltage of every cell if you can see it almost all of them have 3.44 not this one go side up Three forty-four. These batteries were bought in Encom. As I said, they are Samsung Forty T. They look used. Actually, they are previously uh, welded to a battery pack, but the batteries were never used. They were discarded for some reason. But they have some marks of the previous welds. So Encom doesn't sell it as new, it's like refurbished, but actually they are new. They were never used, just a few have the voltage different for somehow, but they assure me and the clients that the cells are not used, were just welded and discarded from the pack. Um, and for now, just three rows missing, and I only have four batteries, they are not on the 3.44 volts. I probably will charge the other ones a little bit, so they all match the same voltage. And... It's going to be fun. I'm going to be using the copper sandwich method. So, as you can see, these ones work welded with copper. Um, I'm going to do the same thing. I have not, I don't have a, a fancy, a fancy spot welder. I'm just going to use this method that I saw in Endless Sphere Forum. And the thing is, copper has four times the conductivity of pure nickel. So I'm going to use a 0.1 copper, pure copper sheet. And that will have the same conductivity as a 0.4 pure nickel strip. I'm not going to do it in strips. I'm going to do like in a in a sheet, so uh, it's gonna have more conductivity area. The copper is a better heat dissipator, so it can, it can handle more, much more amps than I'm gonna run to the batteries. But the, the other advantage, advantage of copper is that less heat is generated so we'll increase the battery efficiency we're gonna have i hope less voltage drop less battery sag so i'm gonna try to do the best battery i can not a pro i'm an amateur this is not my area but i have researched a lot and I saw a lot of videos, read a lot of posts, forum, blogs, and I decided that the copper uh, sheet was the best option because layering nickel strips is not as effective as you can think so. You are just increasing the resistance instead of increasing the conductivity. So copper is the way to go. But to, 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 to weld or to spot weld copper, you need like a big expensive 
spot welder, like a laser one, I think. So the copper method will gonna be a great alternative. As you can see, in a hundred batteries, I just have one, two, three, four, uh, five, five batteries in a hundred. They are not the voltage, uh, the three point forty four, but we're gonna check that is not not very different except one, and this one has three point. 40, 39, so it's not that different from the point 44. This one, 3.40, just 0 0.04 voltage difference. This one, this one is the, the, the less consistent, 3.15, I have to charge it definitely till 3.4, 3.44. This one, 319, 3, 3.39, and this one, 3.41. It's just a small difference, but I'll try to charge them and put them all at 3.44. So I'll keep you posted and I'll make new videos. So guys, we're gonna glue the, the batteries. I find this to be a good, a good spot. They're gonna be all centered. I'm going to just going to use hot glue. I'm going to put the the five in parallel. Number four. They all should be centered and aligned with each other to make the battery uh, a constant height and width. So this is the first parallel of five. I'm going to glue the other side so it make it more stable. The hot glue has the advantage of gluing very fast. It dries very fast. So it's just the first step of my 20S battery. So I have 20 more of these parallels to do. I'm just going to glue them. And th this part it doesn't, it's not very important. It's like very easy. So it, it doesn't have any kind of secret. You just glue them together, nice and tight all aligned and centered okay the the most important part and i'll try to make a more detailed video is about the weld and the the bms uh, 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 installation and that's going to be the most important part of the of the battery pack so everything works smooth and with no with no trouble I'm going to just correct some some parts who are not quite quite glued. Uh, this is not going to be the, the, the final way to, to make them to glue the, the battery pack. It will have like uh, a tape to keep the, the battery stable and against each other. So have no movement and uh, the welds not move a lot and the battery will be nicely protected against some bumps so i'm just gonna cut it glue all the batteries and see you back in a second so welcome back guys i've glued all the 
parallel batteries so I have 20 of these now I'm gonna try to test the best configuration to fit my my bike this is an option like all in a row piled up and with the, the, the BMS right here talking about BMS it is an ant BMS uh, 20s 80 amps they work really nice they have uh, they have Bluetooth so I can program it with my my iPhone they have to power it up we have here the um, the temperature sensors and the um, the leads for the balancing and this is the button to uh, connect or to put on and off the the battery and the, the BMS so now I'll try to see if is if this is the best configuration I think I'm thinking that the, the battery is being too too tall so it won't fit the the frame it's a, a small frame I'm gonna get the bike and show you or I might rotate the the batteries make it a little bit wider but it will be not so tall and I hope you will fit the my 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 bike